Hey moms, how are you? <clears throat> Still have a little bit of a cough, but it is getting better. Um, but I wanted to do this video today because uh, my baby's almost one. He's actually going to be turning one on the 29th, so in just a few weeks. Um, so it's super cool. It's a great celebration. Everybody's talking about it. You know, your baby's going to turn one. And on that topic of conversation too, um, I get a lot of questions like, oh, okay, so your baby's going to turn one now. So are you going to start weaning? Are you going to stop breastfeeding? Oh, what a relief. You're able to uh, stop breastfeeding now. So they see it as kind of like a celebration too, because my breastfeeding journey should end. Um, and I should start weaning and maybe, you know, one of the things that, um, you at your one year appointment when you go to, to the pediatrician they tell you okay now you can give your baby regular um, you know dairy and cow milk um, so a lot of people start to think that yeah that's it you know you can stop breastfeeding and you can just give your baby a bottle and some regular organic cow milk or whatever type of milk you want to give and um, it is totally not um, the time that you have to uh, wean or th that you have to stop breastfeeding you know, unless you feel like you want to, or unless you feel that that's the time that your, um, you know, your um, breastfeeding journey should end, or you see that your baby is starting to self-wean, uh, those are completely different reasons. But it doesn't mean that because your baby turns one that you have to stop breastfeeding. In my case, I don't think he's ready to wean yet. I don't think I'm ready to wean yet. We're both going really strong, and. Um, our breastfeeding relationship is super, super close because he's been exclusively breastfed. So he's not really used to a bottle. Um, he doesn't like drinking from a bottle unless like he has to. Um, so our breastfeeding relationship is great and, and will continue. My Kind of my goal or my wish is that we get to the two year mark. I really, really wanna do that. And um, also part of the reason why I wanna continue breastfeeding is because now that my baby's turned one, and he's um, opened up his whole world to a lot of new things. He's starting to like walk, not on his own, but he's walking around, grabbing onto things. He's been exposed to so many new things, um, so many new people and places and stuff. So this is actually when your baby's um, immune system kind of gets put to the test. So if your baby's still breastfeeding and still taking breast milk, their immune system still continues to grow and to develop and to strengthen because just because you turn uh, your baby turned one doesn't mean mean that your breast milk is no longer nutritious or that it turned into water. It's still as nutritious as ever, and it's still going to be specifically tailor made for whatever your baby um, is going through in regards to their their immune system. And not just that. The other thing is. Um, apart from being exposed to all these new things, they're going to be exposed to a whole new array of um, emotions and things that they're going to be going through. So this is um, a great time to continue breastfeeding because breastfeeding, like I said, apart from being the nutritional value, it's such a comfort thing. So that your baby is able to deal with... Um, I have a question here from Viviana. Um, yeah, you guys are still, um, you know, going through your breastfeeding journey, Viviana. I know that your um, little girl's a little bit older now, and that's awesome. And cherish the times, I think you uh, sent me a message a while back, that you cherish the times that she still wants to nurse. So um, a lot of babies start to kind of self-wean or reduce the, the amount of times that they breastfeed during the day. So yeah, definitely cherish those um, times that your baby does want to nurse. Um, because it just brings you together and it's so amazing and you don't know when you're going to have another breastfeeding journey or if it's your last one. So, And the other thing that I was trying to mention was about um, the emotional side. I felt with my toddler, with um, Sammy, because he kind of self-weaned at one year. And um, I wish that I had, I, I kind of just let, let him go with the flow and I felt that I was kind of ready and I wanted to get pregnant. So, um, but I really wish that we had continued breastfeeding because when he was turning into those terrible twos, um, transitioning to like like 18 month stage, oh my God, it was so stressful for me. I wasn't able to comfort him and he had so many tantrums and um, I just felt that if we had been able to continue our breastfeeding journey, it wouldn't have been as hard because um, that comfort thing for him was huge. Breastfeeding was a very huge, com like anything could go wrong, but if he had his boob and he was able to nurse, he would just completely like settle down and he would be so much more relaxed. So 
Um, I think that's one of the, the things that I'm going to talk a lot about lately, how I feel that breastfeeding helps me with those challenges, those emotional challenges of Isaac, which I'm going to continue breastfeeding. So I'll definitely tell you more about that, but I've read a lot about that and I, and I do totally understand how it makes, it's such an emo emotional, um, it's kind of like an emotional, um, loss, you know, like, um, like you're, um, kind of like, I want to say the word. Um, but I can't remember it like kind of like yeah like you you like a, when you suffer a loss and you have to go through like a mourning stage it's kind of the same thing when 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 a baby stops uh, breastfeeding and even if they're like over a year or however old they are it's uh, it takes time to process so it is so much better when they're a little bit older and they're able to make that decision I think more conscious more um, consciously um, and it just helps them with that transition but that stage from turning one to two is huge because of their emotional development and I think like I said breastfeeding makes such a huge difference in being able to comfort them even if they fall down and they hurt themselves you know here's the boob here's your you know when they're on the boob you can identify with me their whole world is just like there so it's such a huge and comforting thing so Please share your experiences, you know, if you have um, breastfed beyond one and how that has impacted your breastfeeding journey and your baby's development. And maybe if you're going through that kind of stage where your baby's about to turn one and you're kind of wondering like, what should I do? So Viviana, thank you for sharing um, your experience. I know that it's a, a really important and really imperative to get the support from other moms because the kind of, I don't want to say the outside world, but people that haven't uh, or don't understand the benefits of breastfeeding or don't understand our breastfeeding relationships. They don't understand why it's so important to continue beyond that one year. So um, even pediatricians, you know, even you go to the pediatrician sometimes and I'm not saying don't listen to your pediatrician, but they start to say, oh, okay, it's time to wean now. Um, you shouldn't be co-sleeping at night. You shouldn't be um, breastfeeding at night because the cavities and this and that and the other. So, so many things, but you should be the one that makes that decision, um, you know, on a conscious level because it's what you want to do and what you feel you and your child should do. Remember breastfeeding is a, is a relationship between you and your child. No one should come in between that and you and your baby should be the ones that make that decision um, consciously so that you don't have any regrets later on and so that you don't, um, how do I say this, uh, impede certain like developments and like I said, um, don't cause any emotional stress for your, for your baby. Okay, just wanted to share that with you mommies. Bye.